Thus far in this video series, we have established how baptism is intimately connected with salvation in Jesus Christ. If administered biblically, the key link is that Jesus' precious blood cleanses away our sins in the baptismal waters. We receive a glorious spiritual status that beckons us to live for Christ. In this final segment of our video series, I would like to briefly talk about household baptism. We know that for us as adults, we have the ability to believe in Jesus, repent for our sins, and make a decision to be baptized. But what about our children? If they are too young to believe and repent, can they receive baptism too? Simply put, the answer is yes. Let's examine some of the reasons why. For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 and 2. One famous event in the history of the Israelites was how God delivered them from bondage in Egypt through his servant Moses. As they were making their exodus, they were obstructed by the Red Sea, but God miraculously opened a path of escape in the middle of the water. In the Corinthians passage we just read, Paul interprets these events as a prefiguration of Christians who have been redeemed by Jesus Christ. In the overall context, Paul was warning the Corinthians not to displease the Lord and therefore disqualify themselves from salvation, like the storied Israelites did in the wilderness. Paul's interpretation and wording here is insightful. It confirms to us that the Exodus prefigures Jesus' salvation. That entire nation is described to have been baptized when they passed through the sea. If God allowed the young of the Israelites to leave Egypt and cross the sea, though they did not have the capacity to make such a decision, wouldn't He also accept the children of those who decide to believe in Jesus Christ and receive water baptism? They surely have the privilege to be baptized too. How God graciously dealt with the wilderness generation and their children was consistent with how God saved entire households. God saved righteous Noah and his entire household. The angel saved Lot and his entire household. When the church era commenced, the apostles preached and made disciples, baptizing all of the converts just as Jesus had commanded them. Though the Bible doesn't specifically mention the baptism of children, it does mention the baptism of entire households. The first example is the baptism of Lydia's family. One who heard us was a woman named Lydia, from the city of Theatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. And after she was baptized, and her household as well, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. Acts 16, verses 14 and 15. Another example is the baptism of the Philippian jailer's entire household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And he was baptized at once, he and all his family. Then he brought them up into his house and set food before them. And he rejoiced along with his entire household that he had believed in God. Acts 16, verses 32 through 34. In both cases, we can see that entire households were baptized when the head of household believed in Jesus Christ. Having confirmed that indeed we can baptize our children, let us address the question, why? Why? For the same reason we would seek to get baptized ourselves, to receive the forgiveness of sins through the cleansing of Jesus' blood. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God including infants and children. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Romans also tells us the wages of sin is death. Since infants and children also die, we see that spiritually they are not innocent before God. Therefore, baptizing our children would wash away their sins they would also then be justified before God. Truly, God desires that all men be saved, starting from each household. Mm -hmm.